All right, not everything works or fits in the Breville oven. This is the Air Fryer Pro. So I wanna go over you know, the dishes I like to use besides the ones that come with it. Now these are just the ones I use. Do your own research to see if you think they'll be good enough for your oven. Um, all the links for these are in the description down below to help out my channel. If you're gonna buy one, I love it if you use one of those links. So let's just jump right in. You know, the biggest thing is the size, right? Like how do we fit certain things in here um, that will, also, for one, handle the heat because these get really hot. You get really close to those quartz burners. So I don't think all pans are qualified to really be in one of these. Um, so let's jump in. If you're gonna do pies, right? And you're looking for a pie dish that fits in here and that's of high quality because it can handle the heat. La Carose makes this um, pie dish that works really well in this oven and it can really handle heat. These are items that I've chose and that I use and I've done the research because they really handle the high heats. So this is a pie dish, fits really easy in here as you can see, no problems in the middle rack if you're baking a pie, but this is my go-to pie dish. So another La Creuse, this is a loaf pan, um, once again handles high heat, high quality, this thing works great in here, fits perfectly. Cook a meatloaf in here, you could cook a bread in here, and it's great. Now, if you love baking cupcakes and things like that, the problem with a lot of these ovens is the cupcakes don't fit in here. Nordicware makes a set of different pans that fit in toaster ovens, and this is what they have for toaster ovens. I'm not a big fan of aluminum in these type of ovens because they do get so hot, and these can only handle a certain amount of heat. So I try to keep it under 300 with these and make sure they're sitting in the middle so they're not right next to one of those quartz. But as you can see, you can fit uh, 12 muffins in here or cupcakes, which is pretty cool because a lot of times the bigger one doesn't fit in there for cupcakes and muffins. These are Nordic wear. I'll leave a, a link in the description. Now quarter sheet pans, like we all, well, usually you use a half sheet in a traditional oven, right? But made in, which I, I've already disclosed that I'm a partner with them, and I don't know if they sent me this one or not. Um, these work great. I love these aluminum pans because they don't have that lip that contain that will hold stuff in there. It's just open, and that's really cool. Um, and the beauty of these quarter sheets is you can fit. No, I don't think you can fit two, but if you have a double rack. You have both racks in there, you can fit two very easily. Um, so yeah, these are my go-to quarter sheet pans. Once again, aluminum, I keep it at a lower temperature. Um, I forget what Maiden says with these, it might be 400 degrees, but I'm not exactly sure. But that's a traditional oven. Like these get really close to the burner. So, you know, think about that. Now, if you're a bread baker, I bake bread in this little oven. And I did a short video with the artisan breaker. And what got me onto this was, if you, back in the day with the Breville oven had um, this display on whatever store it was, you could actually see this bread baker in there. So what I did is I reached out to the company and it's Emil Henry and I said, hey, will you send me one? And they did. And this is that bread baker. And I love it, it works great. It fits in here perfectly. Um, and I do have a short video and I'll get another video probably pretty soon showing this in here. But as you can see, I usually slide this out like that when I'm doing it because I preheat it and it fits perfect. And I, I've done a ton of sourdough loaves in this. Um, one thing about it cooking in here with this is it doesn't, um, get the loaf as dark. Um, I pull the cover, it browns up really nicely, but what I mean is the crust in this baker doesn't form a really hard crust. And you know, maybe your family likes that. The rest of my family loves that part of the bread. I like a darker crust, um, but this thing works slick. Fits really well, um, use it a lot, fits in here. I did notice that the heat does transfer through one side of this, when I think it's over the burner, which you can see on the bottom of my loaves. Um, 
but that has an effect below, so it's really good. So if you're baking bread, this artisan breaker, link in the description, um, thing works great. It is a little tight in there trying to get this lid off, so you gotta kinda pull it all out together and get the lid off. Um, but that's what I use for bread making. Now, another one I use for bread baking is the La Creuset Dutch oven, and this is the five quart. And what I love about this for the bread is it gives it a harder crust around the bottom. Um, I don't know why it works differently than that artisan baker, but this isn't a different material. This is um, cast iron with an enamel coating. The La Creuset Dutch oven works in here really slick. Fits perfectly. This is what I use to bake bread with too. Uh, I'm gonna get a video out pretty soon with that, but it slides in there nicely. Handles the heat really well. These are designed to hold a really high heat. And make sure if you're gonna get one of these, you wanna get the one with the stainless steel knob because the other one doesn't handle the heat like this one does. And this gets really close to the top up there. But fits perfectly, as you can see. I wanted to show a video where they actually they actually fit in there. So that's a go-to. And if you're slow cooking, I braised once in here with this, and it worked awesome. So you can braise in here, and it has a slow cook setting. Really cool. La Creuset Dutch oven, five quart. This one fits perfect. The link's in the description, so you know exactly which one fits. And then another go-to for me is this. So when I reached out to Miel Henry, I got one of these too, and I use this in the oven all the time. Once again, high quality, um, handles heat really well. And you know, we use this a lot for making brownies. Um, I make a lasagna recipe is on the YouTube channel or on the website. That was made in this little guy, um, fits perfectly. So you can't really fit the nine by 13 in here, but this guy fits perfect. Um, you can either go down a level, up a level, if you want to brown that cheese a little more. But like I said, I've used these pans. I have seen no effect from the heat with them, you know, using on the recommend s settings. I wouldn't use it on an air fryer setting in here or something like that. So there's some other bakeware, pots and pans, cupcake tins that I love using in this oven. That'll give you a little more versatility than what comes with the Breville oven. And I hope this video helps. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And thanks for watching Home Cook Basics.